how ignorant these people are, guys. It's the same guy that was here crying Friday. Because I was here with the parking guy. Except look at what he does Monday. Still parks in spots he's not supposed to be in. For more time than he's supposed to be in. Still don't know how to park though, retard. Park here tomorrow. I don't want to make a new one. Yeah. This is a nice artwork we made. Court employee, retarded, crybaby. Can't read. Criminal POS. Loser. Spot on. And what did Karen do? Came out and started recording me. I didn't even bug him. But you know he'll turn around and say, Oh, look, he's bugging me. You never would have started recording me? I would have never said anything to you, dummy. You didn't even take a nice picture of all his artwork. And as we see, the little princess parked over here. And he's still not allowed to park there. Um, the town just refuses to write them tickets if they're over there. That whole side is police parking only. He's obviously not a cop. Um, I mean, he acts like one. He doesn't follow the rules like one. Just like all four of them parked over there. None of them are cops. But they parked there. So there's not much we could do about it over there. But it doesn't change the fact that he's breaking the law. It doesn't matter if they let him get away with it. A crime is a crime. And you're a criminal if you're committing crimes. You don't have to get uh, go to court and get found guilty to be a criminal. You just have to simply commit a crime. And this is how these people are. Look at they always park on this road because it's closer and they're that lazy, right? Well, this is their garage. Nobody else can park in it. Just clerk, for, DCF's the bottom floor. The rest is courts. Well, this instead of parking in the garage, which is even closer than right here. He has to park over here. He has to. Just to do it. And it's nice because he all my chalk's still there. That's awesome. He's so dumb he came right back to the same spot. This stayed way longer than I thought. I don't even have to redo it. Oh no, is he gonna pop up and yell at me for looking in his truck? That was crazy. He, he accused me of climbing on his truck. Losers like that usually drive big trucks with big motors, compensate for other stuff. 
And lately he's been crying, leave me alone. I told you to leave me alone. Bro, eh? I don't have to leave you alone. You're a public servant. I'm not here for you. I'm here for anybody that is works for the court that's doing the wrong thing. You just happen to be one that does it every single day. And common sense, what's insanity I mean? Doing the same thing over and over and over. So instead of just doing what he's supposed to do and parking in this garage, he repeatedly takes up public parking spots when it's very limited around here and uh, just keeps doing it and then cries every day. He'll come yell at me and then tell me to leave him alone. That's how this guy is. And it says a lot about court employees. This is how it seems at every court, everywhere we go. And look at these fools drive right by, do nothing about it. Absolutely nothing. The cops come and park illegally here every day too. 